Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. This is a weekly channeling video. Today we are going to be having a conversation in the afterlife with Audrey Hepburn. Now I am going to give you a little dialogue here in the front because I want you to understand what I know of her and what I feel from her. So I have, I have connected with her a few times energetically. I've just felt her energy around when I have interviewed other afterlife movie stars. And so I felt her around, but I've never actually taken the time to sit down and just chat with her. So when I feel into the energy of Audrey Hepburn, what comes forward for me is like a, a pair of gray, pencil pants, um, cigar or cigar pants, cigarette pants, the pants that are like shorter, just above your ankle. They're really getting trendy now actually. And uh, ballet flats, like flat shoes. And for some reason she feels small to me, like uh, petite, little. Um, I'm almost 5'9", so a lot of people could feel small to me, but uh, short like 5'5". Five, five. I'm not sure if she actually was, but she feels very, she almost feels like a dancer because her energy is so like, she's bouncy and she's got a lot of energy. When I connect with her, she feels um, um, a lot of energy is what I feel like, a lot of energy, like go, 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 go energy. And she's got dark hair. And usually when I see her, I see her as like having a short haircut, like a short, dark haircut. Um, and her eyes are what stands out to me energetically. Now, I haven't looked up pictures of her. I haven't done any kind of research. I don't do that when I do these channeling videos. I want this to be pure. You're discovering this as if you don't know anything about her because I don't really know a whole lot about her. And so I know some of you hate it when I say that, but it's just the truth, you guys. So this is new. So let's see. Um, I really don't know. I don't even really, I'm not really sure how to describe her energy. Little, petite, a lot of energy, robust. Um, could be considered hot-headed, uh, spicy a little bit, a um, little bit of a temper maybe. Um, a lot, like she could be a workhorse. She could do a lot of things at one time and her repertoire of acting, I feel like she could sing, although she didn't. She says, not much, not much, I didn't, I'm not. I'm not sure about the singing. I may, she think she's been in musicals energetically. It kind of feels like that. Um, I don't know if her voice was dubbed or if she actually sang herself, but I feel like there's like song required for something that she's doing, so musical. Um, stage actress. She liked the theater, the theater. And um, she, has a, she has a little bit of a wisp accent, like an accent, but it's not English, British or anything like that. Um, it's not French either. Um, I feel like uh, her papa, her dad was from someplace else, Mediterranean up higher. Mediterranean up higher, papa, papa is the name, the word that comes forward. And then darker skin, like an olivey, beautiful skin. He had the dad, I see, um, like an olivey, but the mother was different. And I feel like the mother may have been a dancer. Like I see the ballet. Is what I see and mother I feel her mom but it's weird because I feel her mom very absent so her mom may have died early or something mom absent like like there's a space without mom um, I don't know if mom and dad were divorced if that was new if and I feel like she's coming to the United States like she's not from the United States she's coming here um, I feel like she looks a lot younger than she is age-wise, which really helps, I guess, in Hollywood. I feel like she's had some um, tumultuous affairs with men, like um, some of the men that she's been involved with. And she says, oh, let's be clear, let's be clear. She says, let's be clear. I'm not suggesting, it's not infidelity affairs, but like love affairs, like um, I do not know who this person is or if it's the right genre, but here's some multiple things that are coming in right now and I'm not sure how to interpret them. So Audrey is present. She's just, her energy is kind of coming forward. She's telling me her story kind of in pictures and things and that's fine. That's usually how I connect you guys. If you ever watch my first timers, this is my first time interviewing with Audrey Hepburn in the afterlife. So we're just getting to know each other. So. This is the real process. This is how it works for people who like are really connecting in the first time and showing you what they do. Okay. So 
All right, Audrey Hepburn. I feel like this red velvet energy. Oh, I'm wearing red. Okay, I like this burgundy color. Beautiful on you, by the way, Audrey. Big eyes, gorgeous eyes. Her eyes look dark and beautiful. Big eyes, very like round, very specific shape, very beautiful. Um, I see her like advertising like perfume or something, like ads in the paper, you know? And she just has this free spirit, fun, loving energy around her. And I think it's true to her persona, but she feels very, very serious about work. Work is a big deal. Um, I've worked from since I was very, very young. And she says like 16, 15, young. Um, it's hard to tell her age because she looks so much younger than she really is. I see 40 or 42. I also see um, a pivotal time in her life at 32, 32 specifically. Um, I, have you been married? Yes, twice. I feel like two times, but there was one person that was a love of her life. I'm so bad with the details. Let's see. I see other actors and actresses. Like I see, uh, I don't know if this is the right name, Rhett, Rhett, not Brett, Rhett Butler. Was she in Gone with the Wind? Was she? I don't know. Uh, I, know I know you guys are going to think I'm incredibly stupid, but I don't know. Um, and I don't mean any disrespect. Like she was considered for a major role or in a major, there's a major movie and she was considered for a role she was like, there were two movies and she was considered for a role or maybe even cast in a role in one of them. And then the leading person in the other one couldn't do it for some reason or turned him down. So she went over to the other movie and this movie ended up being big. So that's this little story. I have a star. She has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Of course, I'm sure you do. I've met Jacqueline Kennedy. Okay. In human life, yes, in human life. Okay. I know Marilyn Monroe, she sang. Elizabeth Taylor. She says the name of somebody I don't know. Remember, I'm in channeling phase right now, so I can't recall very well stuff. I really can't use my brain very well in channeling space. But she says somebody named Patty Duke. Actress, I assume. Again, those of you who know who that is, you can put it in the comments below and try not to hate me too much for not knowing. <laughs> knowing. Um, and she's showing me like a famous scene or a famous something where she's drinking coffee out of a little cup, a coffee cup. Like a famous, like a breakfast at Tiffany's thing, kind of. I don't know if she was in that movie. She must have been in that movie. Maybe that's what she's trying to tell me. <laughs> okay, again, I don't... I love old Hollywood stuff, but I don't, I'm not well educated in it, you guys. My brain, I'm not well educated in it. I'm just not. I don't know. She could have been at breakfast at Tiffany's. It sure as heck feels like, yes, that's right. That's right. Cling, cling. I hear stuff. And then I see her dancing, energy dancing. Um, I also see Spencer, somebody Spencer, Ruth Spencer, Spencer, somebody Spencer. Um, and I also see, okay, so there's a reference to James Cagney. I don't know, genre. Uh, Frank Sinatra. I already said Marilyn Monroe. Zsa Zsa Gabor. Um, I don't know if they're fans, they're friends. There's just a reference. She's just naming people. She won something, an award, some kind of acting award, um, which is a big deal for her. Um, I almost feel like she grew up. This is weird because I see two different images. I see like poor, really poor, like not having a lot, not having enough. And then I see like royalty. So there's this huge contrast. And so I don't know if her mom had one thing and her dad had another thing and she was raised by one or if she is showing the contrast of herself. Like she didn't have a lot and then she had tons you know did she marry royalty i feel like there's a prince someplace she may i don't know if she married there's a prince in her life somehow there's a prince someone that's royalty in her life part of her life um and no i'm not channeling the movie star that was uh grace kelly i'm not channeling her <laughs> 
let's be clear. Unless they were really good friends, maybe that's what she's showing me. Maybe her and Grace Kelly were friends. I don't know. Because, <laughs> like, the prince, yeah. And, oh, that's interesting, prince. Um, like royalty energy. And I see, is it Monaco? Yeah, okay. Monaco. I feel like, I don't know if she smoked. I feel like she may have. I feel like there's lungs, something wrong with the lungs. I don't know if it's lung cancer or something with the lungs. Um, I see two husbands, I think. There's one and then there's not one and then there's just one left. There's two and then there's not one. Or there's two and then there's one that's gone away and then there's one left. There's one here. I don't know what that means. I don't know if one of her husbands is still alive. I don't know. Um, did you have children? Yes. And I see two, and then there's a space. So I don't know what that means. Two of us? Unless she's just saying there's just the two of us. Oh, boy. Oh, Bridget. I have got to share this opening channel because this is how it works sometimes. I'm like, I've already done a, a, like an hour and a half worth of channeling today. Maybe that's why. But she was here. I could feel her energy. I wanted to chat with her, to at least open up the dialogue to start to talk to her. Okay, Audrey. I love the name Audrey. It's my grandmother's name. Is that your natural name? Yes and no. Can you be more specific? It was chosen for me, not by me. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, she's also talking to me about a manager, someone that was a manager. I think it's a manager or producer that she fell in love with, someone that she was in love with. Um, but did not marry, it looks like. Looks like she did not marry that person. Did not marry. Hmm. Two things come forward. One is diamonds are a girl's best friend. And the second thing that comes forward is, I think she's referring to other people that she knows or something. There's some kind of reference. And the other one, so diamonds are a girl's best friend, is one thing she says. And then the other thing is, I just lost it when she, oh, gentlemen prefer blondes, which I think was a movie by Mar with Marilyn Monroe in it. So I don't know if Audrey was in that or what the deal with that was. She says, I do not prefer to be blonde. I prefer to be a brunette. But I feel like she's been a redhead or something. I feel like she's changed the color of her hair. And was that for a movie role? Perhaps, she says, perhaps. She's like fun energy, but she's a little mysterious. Like I can't quite get specific with her detail with her. I'm curious about this. How much have I gotten right so far in the interpretation here? I feel like she was, well, I feel like she was headstrong and maybe considered to be maybe hot-headed or tempered, but I think it's because she was passionate about what she, what she does and the projects that she chose. And I feel like she was very much driving her life or trying to drive her life and other people were trying to control her. And the, I mean, that could be anybody's story, right? But that's how it feels for her. But she feels so pure, like um, she knows who she is. Like she's very, she has a lot of energy, a lot of energy. I do see martinis though, so like drinking. I don't know if there's a problem with that or not. I'm not going to be rude and pry into that deeper, but I feel like the person she was with maybe was, had some issues with drinking, one of the people. Not somebody she married though, it doesn't look like. And then I see like a car accident too, somebody crashing a car. <sighs> not her though, I don't think. I think somebody else. She may have been in one. A car accident that might be that makes a little more that kind of feels closer to home Interject. and like a scar like something about I don't want to scar my face or I have a scar on my face or something there's some kind of a something here that you have to have work done to cover this and I feel like it's on the cheek here or something like this And as far as diamonds go, the bigger the better, is what she says. She loves, she likes the sparklies, I guess, the rocks, the big rocks. She likes the jewelry. Mm -hmm. 
And I see her in with like a, a necklace that has like three rows of diamonds, big, three rows of diamonds, and then a black a satin dress, so the high-waisted, like an empire waist, and then um, long black gloves, and then her hair's all up, you know, like in a bun, like a bun on the top, and then she's got bangs. She's got bangs. You have bangs. Were you one of the first people to do that? There's something unique about the bangs thing, and it may have invoked um, a fashion. And I do feel like she's got style, a lot of style. Like I see pictures of her in magazines. That's what I see. And you're probably taller than I think you are. I think you're like 5'5", five five, but I, th I could be wrong. You could be taller, but you just seem so, she seems so just petite, you know? Great posture, excellent posture. I feel like she had an acting coach to help her with her words. I don't know if she had a different dialect or an accent that needed to be kind of smoothed out a little bit, brushed out, she says, brushed out. And there's a famous acting coach, and I want to say her name is Madam Somebody or Somebody Somebody, something something. Um, it's a woman, and it's an M name. It could be Madeline, Madeline, um, or Madam or something. Um, Mademoiselle, maybe it was Mademoiselle. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know for sure, you guys, what it is. But she was an acting coach, and she helped her with her dialect, her to smooth out the accent. I don't know where exactly she's from, but it's overseas, so and kind of Mediterranean-ish or something, something not Middle Eastern. But she's uh, mm, can't quite tell if it's I can't quite tell geographically. But I don't think you'd know from looking at her. I don't think you could tell from looking at her. All right. All right. Okay, so this is a very real and raw first channel with the actress, well-known actress, Audrey Hepburn in The Afterlife. And I've tried to be super honest, transparent with you and show you kind of how this works for me when sometimes, you know, when I start to connect in. Now, granted, I've already been working quite a bit today, about an hour and a half of channeling. So maybe uh, I could be a little tired. Maybe that's why it's not zing, zing, zinging. But no mind this is the natural process and part of my goal here at above life channel as you know is to be authentic to show you how this works because i want you to feel the energy i want you to feel the energy for yourself i also want you to participate please go ahead fill in details in the comment section below please do that add to the conversation add value with what you know and anybody can go Google and figure out all the details if you want to do that. But the point of this here is for you to see how this process of connection works and to encourage you to feel the energy for yourself and to practice for yourself to get the information for yourself as well. Because through those experiences, energetically, when you connect intuitively, through me, like when I'm doing this and you're doing it too, it just, it really boosts that that confidence for you to be able to connect for yourself with your own intuition, with your own spirit, and with the afterlife. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I've inspired your spirit and filled you up with some hope today. And remember the most important thing with any of the video content that I share here at Above Life Channel, it's about you living your life. Nobody's doing that for you. I'm not doing that. For, I'm not going to tell you how to do that. Remember, this is your life, yours. So live it, just live it. Thank you so much for watching.